Each panel is made up of two pieces that are joined by gluing them together with epoxy and light fiberglass tape on both sides of the panels. The butt seams on the side and deck panels will align in a neat line that will go around the boat amidships. Each panel section has a small identification label on it. The panels are numbered 1 through 4. The bow end is marked with a B, the stern with an S. When you lay out your panels, the labels on the panels should be up. This will start your epoxy work on the inside of your boat. Put a piece of plastic under each butt seam so you don't glue the panel to the floor. Deburr the butt ends of the panels by lightly sanding them with fine sandpaper. The keel line is straight in the middle and turns up at the ends. Align the keel to a three-foot straight edge to ensure the center of the keel line is flat and straight. Now, cut the light fiberglass tape that comes in the kit a little longer than each of the panel seams. Mix one and a half ounces of epoxy using two parts of resin to one part of hardener. Mix it well. Brush some epoxy on the panel seams. Place the glass tape down on the seam and brush epoxy over the tape. Paint some extra epoxy on the wood for one and a half inches on either side of the tape. Tamp any air bubbles out of the glass tape with the end of a disposable bristle brush. Leave the glass tape and epoxy for several minutes to allow the epoxy to soak into the wood and the fiberglass. The fiberglass should turn completely glass clear. Apply a little more epoxy if you need to and get the tape completely wetted out. Paint a little extra epoxy on the tape and enough on each side of the tape so the resin on either side of the tape is the same height as the tape. Do not proceed until the tape is glass clear. Your kit comes with a 4 inch wide strip of mylar. Cut a piece of mylar a little wider than each of the panels and put it over the glass tape. Roll the mylar into place so that you do not trap air underneath. If there are small pockets of air under the mylar, use your squeegee to work the bubbles out. Cut a piece of three and a half inches wide flat scrap plywood. A flat piece of two by four will also do. Make sure the scrap wood is not larger than the mylar and place it on top of the mylar and glass tape and weight it down with a couple of bricks. This will ensure that the panel ends forming the seam are pushed flat against the floor and that the fiberglass tape and epoxy are flattened out into a smooth seam. Glue the rest of the panels for one side of the boat in a like manner. Let the panels harden. Remove the mylar and save. Using a sharp razor knife, trim the fiberglass at the butt seam flush with the plank edge. Be careful you don't remove any wood and that you don't pull up on the glass tape as you trim it. Take each of the planks you have just finished and turn them over carefully. Spread your arms wide and grasp the panel in the middle. Turn it so that the ends of the panel are supported by resting on the floor as you rotate the middle of the panel. Sand the epoxy that has run through the seam flat. Glass tape this side just as you did the other side. Allow to harden. 